Hi everyone. As a part of this video, I would be covering configuration of lesson activity within the LMS. In this video, I would be giving specific emphasis to the settings that we have to follow while configuring lesson activity in the LMS. Please remember, lesson activity has to be used when we want the session to adapt to the learning of the student and we want the student to follow a specific path. Let me quickly add a lesson activity to my course by turning on the editing option and then clicking on add an activity. From the pop-up, please select lesson and then click on add. Following this, I would get a new window where I would have to configure the details regarding my session. I would have to give a name for my lesson activity. Following this, I have to give a description. The description has to cover what the lesson activity is all about. Following this, right below, there is an option that says display description on the course page. Depending on whether the teacher would like to display the description or not, this has to be checked or unchecked. Following this, please click on appearance and show more. Now, there are a number of options over here. Just in case, if all this seems to be confusing, there are question marks displayed corresponding to each option. Once you click on it, it'll, LMS will give you a brief description of what the setting corresponds to. Progress bar will help a student to understand his percentage of completion in the lesson activity. So I'm going to change this to yes. Within the lesson, a student may be taking up a number of questions and if the score has to be displayed for the student, then I would have to change this to yes. Display menu, if I would like to give a navigation window on the left side of the screen for the student to toggle between the various topics of the lesson activity, then I would have to change this to yes. Another important option that you have to remember is maximum number of answers. Now this refers to the number of options uh, the student that the teacher would like to apply especially while creating the various jump screens If the teacher would like to link the present link, uh, lesson activity with Another activity in the course then you would have to select link to the next activity Following this you have to click on flow control And please ensure that allow students review this is changed to yes by changing this option, the teacher can ensure that the student has the freedom to visit the lesson activity n number of times. Also, if this teacher would like to give the student an option to retake the various quiz or questions which are set within the lesson activity, this has to be changed. Provide option to try question again, this has to be changed to yes. Also, the teacher can specify the number of students, that the number of attempts the students can be allowed to take. Another important setting that we would have to change is the activity completion. Now activity completion, please make sure that you change this to show activity as complete when the conditions are met. Here please ensure that there is a check mark next to student must view this activity to complete it. This will ensure that, that the lesson would be marked as completed only when the student has toggled from the beginning until the end. If the teacher would like to specify certain number of questions and then score a minimum mark, then this has to be put as check. By default, uh, the option corresponding to student must reach the end of the lesson, this would be check marked. And if the teacher wants the student to spend a certain amount of time with the lesson, then this has to be enabled and the teacher can specify the time. So, for example, here I've set it as 45 minutes, which means unless and until the student spends at least 45 minutes on that particular lesson, the LMS will not allow the student to mark that lesson activity as completed. 
Following this, let's click on save and return to course. So I have configured my LMS. So within the LMS as of now, I've configured one lesson activity. Now, instead of repeating the configurations multiple times, what the teacher can do is click on edit, then say duplicate. So LMS will create a copy of the lesson activity. The teacher can drag and drop this in other topics or sessions. Hope this video has been helpful to you. Thank you.